what up everybody welcome back to the channel my name is virtual senpai north american war gaming community contributor and today i have some uh, gameplay for you in the tier 6 italian destroyer premium destroyer the leon now first off i want to apologize everyone um i wasn't able to get any uploads in the last like a little while just because school got really busy for me and it was a really tough time. I had to write a couple papers, um, do a couple presentations, but hopefully we can get a more, um, a more, I guess, consistent upload schedule. Um, we're also going to start doing um, replays for, blind replays for ships. Um, user submitted content, by the way. Um, I have a couple cool replays lined up for the next week or so. Um, I'm gonna try and do at least two uploads a week for YouTube, maybe three. But anyways, I digress. Also, oh my gosh, what is what is this what is this graphic bug here? What is this? We're, we're, invisible ship, by the way. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, um, if you would like to follow my Twitch, it'll be in the comment section below. If you'd like to join the Discord, so you can submit your own replays for review. Um, it is, my Discord link will be down below. All And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. The more uh, subscriptions I get here on YouTube, the higher we can get to some goals and some big old old-fashioned giveaways sponsored by Wargaming and stuff like that. So if you can help me reach my goals, then I will repay you in return. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Leon, a tier 6 destroyer that has been kind of sitting in limbo for the last little while. It's been in limbo for almost over a year and was finally released along with the uh, the Marco Polo in, in anticipation for the, um, the Italian battleships. So, she has two sets of torpedoes, as we can see here. They're quite slow torpedoes, I may add. Um, I've got them going as fast as possible just because I'm running a torpedo gunboat hybrid spec, I believe. Um, she has four turrets of guns, four, four double turrets of guns. I believe they're 120s and they're Italian 120s. Um, and yeah, Leon is quite an interesting destroyer. Um, interesting in the way that I don't know how it particularly operates just because... It's not particularly good at anything. And what I mean by that is like, I just don't know where it belongs. Like, it's not overly good at anything, but it's not overly bad. We got a torpid here on the Duca de Asta, and he's gonna shoot back at us with HE. We're gonna we're gonna take a little bit of a hit here, but we're also gonna we're gonna dance we're gonna tap dance on his head here. Just uh just pause up here. And hopefully he shoots at us again. Yep, there he goes. He's going to shoot at us again. We're tap dancing, but not really tap dancing. He's tapping our sterns with HE. That's kind of painful. I should be technically smoking up here just to get away from him. But you know what? Well, this is this is some two-head gameplay. This is some two-head gameplay. So we're going to we're going to we're going to smoke up here finally. I don't know why I decided to smoke up here instead of earlier but you know is what it is we're gonna load ap we're gonna try and get his broadside here these shells are kind of floaty but we get some decent ap damage on him there um we get the the duca gets this the the close quarters expert there and we're gonna back it up we've only got 14.6k not exactly the biggest number of them all but it's it's there but anyways i digress leon actually has like i believe a two minute smoke so it's comparable to American Smokes, which I think is really cool for utility at tier six. So if we ever get a tier six Clan War season, you can best expect uh, we could we could potentially see some Leones just because of their long smoke, their long range torpedoes, even though there aren't very many of them, those torpedoes reload really quickly. I just launched those and already we're at 30 seconds on reload. They're slow, they don't have a great flood chance, but they are kind of spammable. So. Not exactly terrible, but there is one thing where the Leon kind of falls short on, and that's its concealment. As we saw, it was like 6.3 there, which is kind of yikes. But then again, 6.3, 6.1, somewhere around there. It's definitely above 6. But anyways, we're, look at that. Torpedoes are reloaded again. We're actually going to rotate middle. Um, we're up 2 to 1 uh, ship-wise. 
If I remember this game correctly, it's quite a spicy replay. We get some we get some good we get some good gameplay out of this one. Oh, we had a bit of a lag spike there. I don't know what happened there. I guess the I guess I had like a slight bit of lag during when I actually played this. So as we saw, we're gonna skip ahead here. And we're just going to keep going through the middle. We have our A disabled right now because we don't want this RJ to find us. He's eventually going to find us here. So we sector our singular AA gun. Actually end up shooting down a plane somehow. I don't know how, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Dunkirk here is just kind of sitting. We're going to... We. He looks like he's kind of moving forward. I don't know. He looks like he's maybe sitting a little bit. Yeah, he's definitely sitting, but I think we're just going to shoot Torps at the corner in the hopes that we maybe edge one here. And then um, we follow in the footsteps of fellow WeGCC, um, Notzer. We're going to, I think we're going to maybe hit an island here. No, we jam on the brakes. And we're going to start opening up. Now, one thing about these guns is, as we can see here, it's a quite a slow reload. It's quite a slow reload, and they're super, super super floaty super duper floaty like look at these shells they're basically going to the moon and back like you thought you thought usdds were bad with their arcs oh boy honey you haven't seen anything yet look at this look at this they're going straight over the island the arcs are going straight over the island at 10 kilometers at 10 kilometers they're going straight over. look how high they clear that island so this destroyer, definitely great for farming targets behind an island that you can't really get to, but the CV can spot. So I think we're going to drop another salvo on here. Hopefully we get a fire. No, we don't. Just one shatter. Feels bad, man. But is what it is. And we're going to continue on our way. The game is pretty even. Uh, we, we just got another kill here. Um, we're up by we're up by two ships. We're up by two. And I think we're going to get some shots on this, this Byron here. Not bad. Not bad. He's going to turn out. He's already on fire. Dang, someone took it. But he does end up deleting the Furitaka, which I do believe got the fire on him, unless it was the New Mexico. I'm hoping it wasn't the New Mexico, because Battleship shooting HE scares me. Yes, Thunderer players, I'm looking at you. But anyways, looking at the team right now, it looks like... It looks like, uh... Their, 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 their western flank is pretty even with our western flank everyone's running away from each other which is like oof anyways guys look at this island right here look at this island if you didn't know this before it's actually a lion you could see the fangs right there you can see the eyes and everything bless wargaming's art department bless the design department carrying this game 110 percent carrying this game we sector a shoot down another plane another one let's go now leon shouldn't be known for its a but i guess we shot down three planes i'll count that as a w we're gonna stern bomb bonk uh the julio here and then i think we're gonna charge into the spawn i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna charge right in and i think we might actually try and go find the ryujo here so Let's go, let's go hunting. Let's go hunting. We're gonna get some shots over the island at this, at this Dunkirk. He's playing it like it's World of Tanks. He's playing this game like it's World of Tanks. He's just sitting behind the island and I just don't understand. I mean, given that anyone and everyone can play the game how they want, it's just this kind of, this kind of makes me weirded out a little bit. So he did DCP. Oh, I love that animation. How you can know the arc key is still active on on with those lights you saw that those lights on the superstructure right so cool again another great thing glorious fabled french dispersion right there completely missing we get another bow fire on him see if we can get another stern fire maybe superstructure here but like these these shell arcs okay there we go fuego as my good friend son would say i hope he's having fun with them at a at uh disney world never actually been to disney world been to disneyland but not disney world but anyways he takes a torpedo he's he's hurting he's really hurting we're watching him burn we're burning we're burning this baguette extra crispy toast extra crispy french bread 
So he's not going to go forward because he's realized, hey, maybe maybe I shouldn't charge at the enemy to compensate for my lack of dispersion. Shells come in. I think we actually do pick up the kill on this guy here. So he's going to burn out. There he goes. We burn him out. That's 40k damage in the Leon so far. Not exactly, I guess, anything to like write home about, but maybe all right for a tier 5, 6 game. So now we've blown this flank wide open. There are no defenses left. This game is basically over. We're going to keep pushing this flank. We're going to keep going. And we're going to hop in the cap here. Enemy teams, New Mexico, Piotr and Ernst Gata are trying to uh, come back here. They're trying to come back to defend the cap from me, the Cesare, the New Mexico, as well as our friendly Ryujo. But they're also getting pinched from the south flank by Hatsuharu, Furutaka, Queen Elizabeth, New Mexico, and Pensacola. The last two, which are still in, sort of in our spawn high key. So here's what we're going to do. We've pushed into the cap. And now we begin to shoot some extreme range torpedoes. Now, the torpedo range on these on the Leon is 12 kilometers, which is absolutely gargantuan. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, shh, 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 shh. the CV has been spotted. We don't want to startle it here. We don't want to startle the CV here, but we do anyway. Guns live, baby. We're going to try and get as much fire on this carrier as possible before it runs away, because eliminating the carrier is of utmost importance. The reason why? Even in the end game, a carrier is still so very dangerous with its spotting potential as well as its alpha damage. So killing a carrier as soon as it's spotted is extremely important. And not just to, for lack of better phrasing, get the uh, get the get the pelt of the beast, but to actually eliminate an extreme spotting as well as damage threat. Because when a carrier can get damage in the way that it does which means basically it shoots it, it it can it can it can damage ships without putting itself in danger which is something that needs to be eliminated i think we get another torp hit here on the new mexico solid those torps are really good actually those are really really good torp the hatsuhara will pick up the kill but basically what what happened there is we want to get as much damage on the ryujo as possible get as much damage on him as possible so even though the Piotr is technically our main threat, two battleships can take care of that. And these shells, again, are I actually low-key over lead a little bit. We're going to aim a little bit higher. Oh, the RJ took a Citadel from something. I think he took a Citadel from the Furutaka. We're going to turn in. We're going to launch Torps here. We now have a bit of a threat here with the Ernst Gata. He is now our primary threat. We might actually smoke in his face here. We're gonna we're gonna throw on the handbrake here. We're gonna throw it on, and we're gonna dodge these shells quite handily and easily. Getting some good damage on him here. He finally replies with one shell, but I think we should probably smoke up here. Like I'm getting into the I'm getting into the situation where I have to smoke. I'm gonna smoke and I'm gonna bow into him. Because I don't want him to hit me with torpedoes. Now, I do know that this guy has, uh, he has Hydro, but you know what? There's a lot of targets I could shoot here. The Piotr, in my opinion, is not a huge threat, but eliminating the carrier is going to help out our team a lot. Just because, even though he's spotted right now, he's still harassing our Furutaka that's sitting on the two-line pushing in. Furutaka gets the kill on him. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a carrier eliminated. We're gonna launch torpedoes back at this guy. We're just gonna keep backing up. Look at that smoke. Two minutes almost. We're gonna load AP here. See if we can get some decent damage on his upper belt if we even penetrate. Nope, we don't. So, note to self, don't shoot AP. I think I keep doing it here, but that's just a big two head move. Now I'm switching back to HE, finally, after I notice. I think we might actually get the Piotr here. I think we get the Piotr here. Yeah, the torpedoes are looking really good. Yeah, here we go. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I think the game's about to end here because it's only the Ernst Gator left. We're going to tap this guy with torpedo. We're picked up on Hydro, and now things get a little monkasteery. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, Leon, great utility. 
but our main armament is lackluster so i would definitely say if you if you like playing a utility ship go for it but meh in my opinion leon isn't really this worth it anyways ladies and gentlemen like comment and subscribe it's all right but eh we'll see you later